Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Sas Ama. My name is Kayode Adewale. I'm a mathematics teacher in Ogun State. I'm also a member of Science Teacher Association of Nigeria, Ogun State Chapter. Uh, I'm so privileged. I'm also the State Publicity Secretary of the Stan Ogun State Chapter. I'm here to present on the topic log reading two. Uh, we have two different log reading topic under this uh, panel. There is log reading one, which is talking about the log reading of number greater than one. But my own section is talking about the log reading of number lesser than one. Now, when we are under this section, uh, well, before proceed, before I will continue, let me appreciate all our mentors here. Professor Efamiwa, thanks for the privilege. And the national president too, I'm also grateful uh, to have this uh, privilege to present before the Heritage Scholar that we have here. It is a great privilege. Thank you, Sas and Ma. So I'll be looking at the comparison of characteristics of logarithm and standard form of numbers. Of course, we know there is no way you'll be talking about logarithm and you will not talk about how to find the characteristics of the logarithm and uh, in related to the uh, standard form. We can also use the standard form to get the characteristics of a logarithm. Uh, so in this section, uh, I'll be looking at the further use of the tables to perform the calculation that involves multiplication, division, powers, and root of numbers that are uh, lesser than one. Now, let me just, let's just uh, briefly look at what is logarithm all about because we cannot just go into the logarithm because of course, I know these are erudite scholar. Logarithm is not a new topic to us, but we just need to rub our mind together and just remind ourselves of little, little things about logarithm. Of course, who is the father of common logarithm? The father of uh, common logarithm is John Napa, who is best known as the discoverer of the logarithm itself. He is also invented the so-called Napa's bones and made common use of the decimal point in arithmetic and mathematics. So, the origins of this, this is the father of logarithm. And we know before the inventions of calculator, we normally use of, make use of logarithm table in performing our operation. So, uh, what is the, uh, like I said, the origin of logarithm? Uh, logarithm is even described how human intensively thinks about number. How human being thinks about number. And logarithm was invented in 17th century as a calculation tool by Scotland mathematician that is called uh, John Napa. That is in 1550 to 1617, who coined the term from the Greek word. The, that is, the word of logarithm was coined out of the, uh, the Greek word for ratio, that is, logos and arithmetos. That is, that of logo, that is talking about the ratio, and that of the numbers is talking about arithmetos. So the two combined together is what we refer to as what? As logarithm. And what is logarithm also called for? Logarithm uh, base 10. Uh, it is called the decimal or common logarithm and it is commonly used in science and engineering because I've had the encounter one day when a student of mine is asking me all these things you are teaching us where can we use all this you always ask us to find this you always ask us to find that where are these things uh, applicable of course you can tell our student that logarithm for instance uh, is commonly used in sciences and it is also used in engineering so the natural logarithm has the numbers these uh, to 2.715 as its base and it is widely spread in mathematics and physics because of this very simple derivative as you can see uh, in the diagram beside it those are those uh, areas that so what is uh, what is meant by characteristic because when you talk about logarithm uh, to find the logarithm of any number of course anytime you are given a number and you find the logarithm of that number if you find the antilogarithm of that number, you will get the corresponding number. And that is what makes mathematics a universal language. That's what makes mathematics different from every other sciences. And that is what makes mathematics the bedrock of all sciences. Because it is a process that you can take forward at the same time you come back. For, uh, back. And that is why we see many of our students, you can give somebody a question in mathematics and get 100 It is always accurate. So what is meant by characteristics and matrices in a logarithm means that Whenever you are given a number, you can actually look for the logarithm of that number. By first of all, look for the characteristics of that number, then check the matrix of that logarithm. Then you get the corresponding number back. So, 
That means we'll be talking about the characteristics and matters. Are. So the integral part of a common logarithm is what we call the characteristic. As you can see in the picture, we have number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is uh, 12,343. If I re-express this number in standard form, the powers of that term, that is the characteristic of that number. Then the integral part, checking the integral part from the logarithm table is what we mean by the word, by the matizan. I'll give an example here. Suppose we have a logarithm of 39.2. It's going to give us, the characteristic is going to give us 1. And the matizan, by the time we check 39 under 2, you are going to get 5933. Yes, another impression we have to co correct here is that Many of our teachers, they always like the number that when you find the logarithm of 39.2, when they want to pronounce this, some of our students do pronounce it at 1.5933. No, any number after decimal point, it is pronounced one by one. You cannot pronounce it as a whole number because it is a fraction. It's a decimal part of that number. Then, uh, of course, one is the characteristic. Why 5933 is the matizer of that logarithm. Now, what are logarithm tables for? Because there is no way you talk about logarithm without not talking about the logarithm table. And of course, about the anti-logarithm table. In mathematics, logarithm table is used to find the values of logarithm. Logarithm, uh, log logarithm fun function. And the simple way to find the values of the given logarithm function is by using the logarithm table. That means we must know how to make use of logarithm table before you can make use of because before you can find any logarithm of any number. So the logarithm table is used in performing the bigger calculation. Like I told us in the past, before the inventions of calculator, we all know that we all rely on the logarithm table in performing calculation that has to do with multiplication, division, squares, and root. Without using calculator, without the invention of calculator, those are those things we use in those days. So logarithm of a number to a given base is exponent by which that base should be raised to giving the original number. Like I said, when you are giving a number, you find the logarithm of that number, you are getting, by the time you find the anti-logarithm of that logarithm, you will get the number back. By the time you get into the practical section, we are going to say more about this. Now, this is logarithm table. On logarithm table, for logarithm table, it started from 10 to 99. That is, it's dealing with two digits number. It started from 10 to 99. The first part of it is talking about are the numbers under while the other part is talking about the differences so we have it from 1 to 10 uh, one, uh, 10 to 99 as you can see so by the time we get into the practical section we will be referring to us to this table and of course the main area that our students are having challenges that we have different logarithm table outside now that is quite different from the original introduced by Napa so, there are some of these logarithm tables that are causing confusion these days. So, before you could get, uh, before you can make use of any logarithm table, you need to find out if it is a standard logarithm table that you are using. So, that is logarithm table. Of course, there is no way you talk about, like I said, the number is coming from, when you are coming from number to logarithm, when you find the logarithm and you find the corresponding anti-logarithm, you get the number back. So for every time you check your logarithm, there is need for you to check the antilogarithm of that number. Of course, for antilogarithm on the other side, is dealing with the decimal part. You are looking at the decimal area. So of course that will be talking about from 0, 0.00 up to 0.99. While logarithm is talking about from 10 to 99, antilogarithm is talking about 0, 0.00 to 0, 0.99. And that is why you see that you always see from 00 up to uh, 99. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's go into the practical of this section. But before we go into the practicals of this section, I don't know if there is one or two questions to ask before I set up uh, my uh, lab where I'm going to make use of uh, the board in following the, uh, the next step. So, I'm going to pause here now. If you have any questions, let's raise our hand and... Uh, uh, let me, Dr. Sholani, please, if anyone raise hand, please help me to call such person so that they can uh, make their input on this, uh, my little presentation. At the same time, they can also make uh, observation, then whatever things they want to do. Thank you, Sas and Ma.
Props are. Hello, bro. Hello, bro, sir. Hello, bro, sir. Hello, professor. Hello. Hello. Hello, brother. Can, can you hear me, sir? Hello. Hello, Mr. K today, can you hear me, ma? Mr. K today, ma, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Mrs. Sakin today. Dr. Mohammed. I don't know if it's Dr. Mohammed or Professor Mohammed. Hello. Hello. Uh, yes. Uh, Coyote, we are hearing you, please. If you have the mandate to begin the presentation, you can go ahead with your presentation. We are with you. Okay, thank you very much, Professor. I've started, I've made uh, the theoretical aspect of it. I'm now going into the uh, the, uh, the practical aspect of my presentation. So let me just, because I guess when I started, we only saw about two or three people. So let me just start, let me just try to do a kind of recap of what I've just said in the paper. So I actually said, uh, started my name is Kayo De Adewale. I'm a teacher in Ogun State, and I'm here to uh, to talk about logarithm two. Logarithm is basically divided into two as a topic at secondary school level. Uh, the first part is logarithm one, which is talking about the logarithm of number greater than one. Then that of logarithm two is talking about the logarithm of number that are lesser than one. Now, 
Here under this class, we'll be looking at comparison of characteristics of logarithm and standard form of number. Of course, when you re-express a number in standard form, the powers of that term is the characteristics of that number. So, under this class, we'll be talking about the uses of a table to perform calculation that involve multiplication, division, powers, and root of number that are lesser than one. So, and I said there is no need, there is need for us to look at who is the fathers of common logarithm. We all know this. Of course, it's just to remind ourselves, uh, the fathers of common logarithm is John Nepa. Uh, is best known as the copies of logarithm. And we know what we make use of logarithm uh, table to do. In those days, before invention of calculator, uh, logarithm table is what we normally use to perform our calculation in the areas of uh, multiplication, division, finding the squares of any number or division or whatever numbers you want to find. So, all right, so this is the original logarithm table uh, when the Nepal invented it. So, logarithm is even described how human intensively, instinctively thinks about number. So, like I said, it was invented in the uh, 17th century as a calculator tool by a Scottish mathematician that we call John Nepa, who, who coined the term from the Greek word, from ratio. Ratio means logos, and numbers mean arithmetic. So the two numbers, the two now were now combined together to form that is ratio number, and it is what we call form log logarithm. So what is logarithm also called? Like I said, logarithm base ten is called decimal or common logarithm, and it is commonly used in sciences and engineering. Like I said, many of our secondary students always ask us what are the application of some of these things that we normally do. So this is also an avenue for us to tell them that logarithm, for example, it is commonly used in sciences and in engineering. Then, of course, it can also make use of it in physics and the like. So, because of its very simple derivative, and examples of it is what we are seeing on the screen. So, of course, when we are talking about logarithm, you need to look at two things, the characteristics and the matrices. The characteristics is the integral part. That is the integral part of a common logarithm. That is what we refer to as a characteristic. And the non-negative decimal part is what we call the next the mantisa. And that is the one we normally check from the logarithm table. For example, the log of 39.2, when you look at it, when you express these numbers in standard form, 39 is in tens. That means that will be 10 to the power of 1. Then that 1 is the characteristic of that number. Then we are now need to check the matisa which is 39 under 2 from the logarith uh, logarithm table. Now, like I said, we have been talking about logarithm table. What is this logarithm table? Logarithm table is basically divided into three parts. The first part is the serial number, which is from 10 to 99. The other part, that is where you are checking your under, that is the number that is next to the first digit number. And what, why the third part is talking about where you are going to get the difference of the number. That one is basically divided into nine. That is from one to nine on horizontal. Why that of the difference too is also from zero to what? Zero to nine. Why under is zero to nine? Difference is one to nine. By the time we get into the practical aspect of it, we'll talk more about this. So, of course, like I said, the process is from number to logarithm, from logarithm to antilogarithm. And by the time you check the antilogarithm of the number that you have checked with logarithm, you are going to get the number back. Yes, now let's go into the practical. You can check my second screen, uh, or let me just stop sharing from here and close my camera so that I can talk to Ross from the other side. Okay, maybe before that, let me just entertain one or two questions before we go into the practical aspect of it. Questions or contribution? If you have one or two, just let's raise our hand so that I can call on us. Any question, contribution, 
observation. All right, in the absence of none, I'm going to make use of the second uh, area, which is the board now. Hello, can you can you hear me? Hello, Hello please, please if you can, can hear, hear me, me, can we can we, can we just respond? respond? Yes, we can hear you. All right, All right. thank you, bro. Thank, thank you, bro, man. Thank, thank you very much, man. Now, now of, of course, course, like I said, uh, uh logarithm is basically consigned with the characteristics and the matiza. And, and of course, this class, I'll, I'll be talking about the logarithm of numbers that are lesser than one. one. Lesser than one. When you look at the number that we have here, 0.064 is lesser than one. So, of course, if I want to do this, I can do it into form. I can express this number in standard form. If I express this in standard form, the short method that I repeat, this is one, two. And then we need to go into placement of value. The, the first zero here is, is tens. The, the second, second one is, is hundreds. So, so that means this becomes 6.4 multiplied, multiplied by 10 to the power of what? Minus 2. two. Now, now, I'll, I'll come, come back to the characteristics. Let, Let me move to the second one. one. The, first the first one, that is tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. So that means. One, two, three, four. four. So, so this is going to give me six point a multiplied by ten to the power of what minus four. Now, if I come back to this place now, uh, of course this will definitely give me how many number it is going to give me. Uh, I will just take one. So that become eight point zero two multiplied by ten to the power of what minus one. And the last one here. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. I'm, I'm going, going to give my professor's work. work. So, so can we do this last one, one and tell me uh, this in standard form? form. So, so like I said, said the power, power of the 10 is the characteristics. Under the, the logarithm of number greater than one, one. Now, we have been taught that by our shaman in the morning. morning. Uh, I think that was yesterday. Our shaman has talked about the numbers of logarithms greater than one. So the characteristics of this number now. This, this will now become bar two. two. You, you are, are taking this to the, the power, power of minus two. You are taking it to the top, to the top. top. So, so which is what bar two. two. For, For this, the tan size of this one will be what bar four point. And the third one, the tan size of this one will be what bar one point. So I'm so sorry. I'm going to give my professors what to do. So can you able to find this zero point zero zero seven one? Uh, uh, let me put one, one here. here. Can, can we re express this in standard form and find the characteristics for me? Let, let me have my answer in the chat box. I want to have my answer in the chat box. Let me have my answer in the chat I'm waiting, I'm waiting for, for our answer in the chat, in the box. chat box. Let me see. Let me see. I've taken permission. So sorry for giving my, my professor's, professor's uh, work. But this, is but this is just for us to exercise, us to exercise our, brain our brain together. Number, Number four, four or five. five. What, what is, is the characteristic of, of number four? four? What, what is the characteristic of number five? five? All right, All right thank, thank you, Dr. Dr. Shalani. Thank, thank you very, very much. much. That's Batini. I'm, I'm waiting for others. others. Dr. Dr. Shalani said, said number four, four is Batini. 
I'm waiting, waiting for it. Yes, yes, yes thank, thank you, sir. sir. Uh, uh, Brother, Brother Mohammed, Mohammed. He 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 right. thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you very, very much, much brother, sir. Thank, thank, thank you very much. No, of course, the middle area where our students are having challenges. When, when it comes to logarithm of number, number lesser than one, one is the in areas, areas of the operation, operation, operation multiplication, operation uh, division, operation power, and operation, operation root. And, and we always tell ourselves that, well, this, this operation, we need, we need to simplify it. You will need to first of all look at the main person. So before I talk about this, I will first of all take us the main person that has to do with this form. And let, and let me take us to, because, because we are now moving to the demand are now. Before, Before you move into the demand uh, you, you need to talk about this operation. operation. So, so I'll, I'll be talking about, about the multiplication. I'll, I'll be talking, talking about, about the division. I'll, I'll be talking about, about the power. power. Then, then I'll, I'll be talking about, about the what? The roots. I, I, I hope this capture my board. board. Uh, let, uh, let me position, position my board, my board in such a way that you know, please don't mind my board. board all right. right. So, so I'll, I'll be talking, talking about the mental sum that has to do with this four: four. Multiplication, multiplication, division, powers, powers and, and roots. So let, so let me pick my question. Uh, let, let me pick my question. Of course, we have now seen how we got this. Of of a team. Team. So, so let me pick the first one. one. By, by 2.7 2. 7 multiplied by 4. What, what is the answer? answer? This, this one is talking, talking about this is talking about multiplication. Sorry, Sorry this, this is talking about okay, okay let me leave this. this. Of, of course, course when, when you move away, away from multiplication, all of the when you are giving any number of multiplication, it leads to okay, let me test that. that. When, when you are giving any number in multiplication, by the time, time you want to perform the operation, operation it will lead to addition. For the addition, it will lead to subtraction. For power, power it's going, it's going to lead to multiplication. Then for root, it's going, going to lead to division. Are we together? Please, if you can hear me clearly, let somebody just talk. Yes. yes. All right. Thank you, Prof. So, so on the other hand, multiplication, multiplication will lead to addition. addition. Division, division will lead to subtraction. Power will lead to multiplication. Why that of root will lead to division? Like, like I, I said, let's just look at the main person because, because, because the main person will assist the student by the time they get into the operation. For example, if I have by two points. Uh, uh, let, let me give okay, okay, about 3.2 about 3.2 which after, after the multiplication, multiplication you are asked, asked to add the two together, together. that's about 5.4 all right, all right. Let, let me move to number, number two. 2 uh let's talk uh, about about 5.7 uh, uh we are taking this away from this we are taking about 2.3 away from this and of, and of course, course let, let me move to the last one, one uh, which, which is, is talking about power by 2.7 to, to be multiplied, multiplied by 4. Then, then the, the last one, one this, this is where we are, we are going to work by 4.7 divided, divided by 3. 3. Now, let's, now work let's work on this. Because, because once, once you know this mental sum, once, once, once the student, the student understands the mental sum that, that has, has to be with that rhythm of number, of course, you know, know a number, number of these, but it, it, it shows, shows that, that expression is in thousands. thousands. It is in one, one over thousand. thousand. But, but five, five. That, that is what? That, that is one, one over, over, that that over, one over ten thousand. thousand. But, but two, of course, that is one over hundred. By four, four, of course, that, that is one, one over, over tens of thousands. Of thousands. And and by five, five, of course, when you see them like that, by the time, time you explain. So, so, the main person of this now is, is where our where students, are, students having are having issues. Once you are Once able, you are able to get this, you cannot have issues issue again. again. So, so, if I add four plus two, that will give me six. 
Now, now battery means, means don't, don't forget, forget that, that when, when you express, express the number, number when, when you express the number, number in, in the powers of, of 10, 10, you said it, it raised to minus so, so, so. So, so, so that means this one is what? Minus 3 plus minus 5. Sign of difference here. That is that what? Minus. That is minus 3 minus 5. Minus 3 minus 5. That, that will be me minus 8.1.6. That is, by 3.2, to be added, added to by 5.4, will give me minus, minus, minus 1. It will give me minus 8. eight. But you will not write minus 8. eight. That, that will come by 8.6. Now, now, I will move, move to number 2, which is talking about subtraction. subtraction. Now, now, for subtraction on the other hand, I'm taking it away from, from seven. seven. Of course, that will give me four. four. Now, now, let's, let's come, come to this place. I'm the very, very careful why of performing this. This, this is, is minus five. five. Then, the then the operation is what? Is it's minus. minus. Into so minus, minus two. Sign of the same. I've come to each other here. That, that, here. Is, that is minus with minus that is what? Minus plus two. Minus five plus two. That will of course give me what? That, that would give me minus three, so, so that would become bar three point four. Yes. Yes. I need to call our attention, attention to this. Are there, there are professors, professors are in, the in the house? house. There, there is a relative of, of artificial, artificial intelligence, intelligence now. now. But what do you think in my own research? research, research I've discovered that, that artificial intelligence, intelligence cannot solve questions, questions on the volume of number less than, than one. one. So, so this system will be having issue on, on this. this. And, and of course, course some, of some of this operation, it is, it is very difficult to use calculator, calculator to perform some, some of these operations that, operation that have to do with the number of number less than one. You can make our findings too. But that, that is my own research and that is my finding. Now when you come to the back three now, so that is why students are really facing challenges. They are facing having to do when it comes to the number of number less than one. So if I come into this stage now, I'm multiplying this now. By two points, by two point seven, multiply by four. That's, that's where, where we need to. I'm not getting that. We need to be very careful. Four, four multiplied by seven. That will give me twenty eight. I'm going to write eight, and, and I'm having two. two. Four, four multiplied by minus two. two. Don't forget that this is by two. It's also two. minus two. Four, four multiplied by minus two. That is minus eight. That is two. Minus a. What, what is two minus, minus a? a? That, that is minus six. six. And you, and you cannot write minus six. six. You write, you write it as, as what? About six, six point one point eight. Now, now this, this is where the major issue lies. The division. That is where the major issue lies. The division on the other hand. I'm going to make use of this so that we can see very well. Let me see if this area can be very clear so that I can bring the division here because the division is the most Area, area that, that our students are having challenges. So for so instance, I have, I have bar, bar 4.7 to, to be divided by 3. By three. If, you if you go to your calculator, calculator and push minus 4.7 divided, divided by 3, you cannot, cannot get the answer. Because they, they make use of the algorithm of, of four figure out, 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 so, so it's it very difficult for you to find these types of expression, of expression using the calculator. calculator. And that is, and that is why the instructions at earlier say normally say solve all those other questions, questions, questions without using calculator. calculator. Because, because they, they make use of the algorithm to perform and uh, compute the, the inventions of calculator. So, so for example now, this is divided by this. This is going to give me by 4.3 divided by this. How do we go about this? The first, the first thing, thing you need to do is that you need, you need to, to look for multiples of that, that divisor. The multiples, the multiples of three, three that, will that will be greater than that, that, that number. number. What, what is the multiples of three that will be greater than four? four. Multiples of three, 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 six. Of course, three, three, three is greater. That means, means you are making some more minus six. six. Now, now, what can, can you use to convert five minus six back to minus four? That is what? That is two. It is only two. So when, so when you look at this now, now minus, minus six plus, plus two, we give us minus, minus four. four. I will, I will repeat, repeat myself. By four, by four point seven, seven divided, divided, by divided by three. The first, the first thing, thing to do is to look for the bottom of three. three. That, that is greater, greater than, than that, that number, 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 which is four. So, so the bottom of three that is greater than that will be greater than four is 
minus, minus six. six. So what so can you do this battle, battle minus four? It is two. It is two. Then, then point, point, one, point two. Point seven. seven. Everything to be divided, divided by what? Three. How many three can, three can I see minus, minus six now? now? That will be what? what? Minus, minus two. two. Plus, plus three, three into in two. That is, that is impossible. impossible. People used to say it's impossible. impossible. You just, just agree like, like that. So when so you bring that, that, that to that, that to that that seven. How many, many things can you say in 27? 27. Three, three in 27. That is, that is what? That is, that is nine. nine. So the, so the final answer here now become what? That will become by 2.9. So by 4.7 to be divided by three, we give us by 2.9. Please, if the mental surface is clear, clear uh, can, can we type, type yes, yes on the chat board? board. If, I'll if I'll be, be able, able to do my, do my little fun as, as your mentee, mentee. Can, you can you please encourage, encourage me by, by saying yes, yes. And, if and if it's not clear, clear can, can you still type, type, type no? no. Thank, Thank you, you. Ah, Dr. Cholani. Ah, I'm, I'm waiting for others. others. Let me get Let me the B back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Shola. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, for, waiting for, for others. others. Bro. Bro. I just I want to know if, know I'm, with if I'm with you. Let's make use of the chat box. Chat box. Okay. okay, thank you, sir. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All, right. All right. So let's, so let's move, move into this way now. So, like I, I did the other time, time before we move, move into, into the, the operation, operation in two now. now. So, so I'm, I'm going to add one, 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 one question under that this. So, so uh, I will, I will just, just get, get two minutes, minutes to respond to the chat box. Two minutes to respond to the chat box. So, the number one I'm going to give now is. I'm going to give by 3.7 3 let, let us add to by 5.8 what, what will be the answer for division, division by 2.6 by 2.8 you, you are taking by 6.1 away, away from that, that. then for power, power for power, for power by three point two, point two multiplied, multiplied by five. five. Then, then for, for division, division. Uh, let, uh, me, let say, me say by, by six, six point, point nine, nine to be divided, divided by, by three. three. So, so I'm waiting, I'm waiting for, my for my answer in the chat box. box. So we so have four questions. Question, number, number one. one Number, number two, two number, number three, three number, number four. four. Uh, okay, uh, okay, just give me one, one more minute. Since, Since I, said I said division, division is, the is the most difficult area on, on this. this. So let me, so let take, me take one more question on division. On division. Let me solve one, one more question on division. On division. Uh, let's uh, let's have by 3.8 to be divided by 4. By 3.8 to be divided by 4. By 3.8 to be divided by 4. How do we talk about that? By 3.8 to be divided by 4. So that is by 3.8 divided by 4. And that will be us. You are, you are looking for multiples, for multiples of, of 4. That is, that is bigger, bigger than, than minus 3. three. Of, of course, 4, four itself is bigger, is bigger than, than minus 3. three. So, so I can, I can pick, pick by 4. Bar four. Then, what can I then what can I use to convert minus 4 back to, back to minus 1? One. One. I can I say this plus what? Plus 1. Minus 4 plus 1 will give me minus 3. Point 8. Then if I come here now, 4 now. 4 in 4. In minus in, in, in bar four, four. That, that is bar what bar one, one point four, four in one, one that, that is zero, zero point. point. When, you when you bring this one into this, how many, many four can we see that? That, that, that one will continue. continue. How many, many four can we see in eighteen? That will be four. 
it will, it will remain, remain two. two. Add zero, add zero to that two, that, two, that becomes 20. 20. Four, four in 20, 20. That, is that is five. So the final, so the final answer will be what? By, by four, four points, point, by, by one point, point four, four, five. five. So, so let's, let's add answer, answer, answer to this now. now. Or let, or me, let just me just write, write the questions, questions out, out here, here so that, so that it's clear. clear. Number, Number one, one is by 3.7 3. plus, plus by 5.8. Number, Number two is by 2.8. Minus bar 6.1. Number 3 is bar 3.2 multiplied by 5. And number 4 is bar 6.9 to be divided by 3. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So I put, put that person there, so let me clean this so that, so that we can go into our operation in proper. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Dr. Jolari. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting for, for others. others. So let me. So let me. All right, sir. All right, sir. Yes, am yes, I still am on? I still on? Am I still, am on, I still on, sir? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. 